This is the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz. Brought to you by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. Welcome into the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz. Coach, today victorious 56-17 over Western Illinois. Just wanted to ask your overall thoughts as we lead in today. Well, anytime you can get a win on the road and a convincing win. Uh, we played a, a number of people. Uh, I was excited about how things went. and. Uh, Mother Nature tried to influence the kind of the how the game was going to go. Uh, strong wind out of the southwest, so we we knew we were going to lean on our run game regardless, but probably had to lean on it a little bit more, especially in the second and third quarters. Talking about some of that run game, Kobe Johnson came out of the gates early. We always know get off to a fast start. He had that one play touchdown right away. Just your thoughts on his performance? Played really well. I think he had close to 100 yards. I think we might have had three backs close to 100 yards. So really good day by the Rams and the tight ends, and even the the wide receivers didn't see a lot of action in the air but we're critical piece of the run game talking just a little bit more 453 or so yards I was talking to one of our guys back at the studio I said when was the last time the Bison rushed over 400 and he goes well we did it twice last year so we know that's the staple of this program but seven rushing touchdowns coach TK Marshall having a good game as well just talk about his play yeah, TK is uh, that well TK's done a really good job and um you know, it's it, sometimes people say it's just not fair when you have that many backs that are that talented. But TK came in and, and really runs hard, does a great job at practice, um, using him more and more. And uh, I anticipate we'll continue to utilize him. But he's also a, a big piece of our special teams as well. Let's we'll step aside, take a look at first half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. 47-yard line. So how about that here? First possession again for NDSU starting on the Western 47. They'll move from right to left. Hand off up the middle of the big hole. 30, 25, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Kobe Johnson. My goodness, Kobe Johnson, 47 yards in on the first play from the line of scrimmage, and the Bison are on the board. And they fake the punt here, and the Bison read it beautifully. Zach it was Mathis. A snap down, and Zach Mathis said, get it out of here, slammed him down. How about that for the Bison? Don't, don't think of him as a hitter, usually. <laughs> Uh, bring up first down here, Bison, from the 25-yard line. Two receivers down to the left. Zach Mathis is one of them. Here's the high snap. Miller will hand off here, left side. to Merrick Williams finding light. 10, 5 spins, touchdown. 15, moving it back five here. Bruno in the gun, empty backfield. His four receivers line up to the right. He'll step back four steps, throws over right side. This one is intercepted by the Bison at the 10. Back on the near side, 20, 25, 30, still on his feet. And finally, still going across the 40. Their own 35-yard line moving from left to right. Slam in the backfield. It's Spencer Wagey coming up. Well, tough there because it makes it a first down now. Yeah, it does, yeah. To the 25-yard line for Western. Bruno fakes the handoff. No, he does go the handoff and slammed in the backfield. Nowhere to go. Flags fly late. Calling for it. Steps back three steps. Rotates over to the right at the 20, 25. Directing traffic. 30 wants to run. 35, 40 on the near side. And finally out of bounds. He's got enough for a first, first down. down. Well, about Cam a 14-yard run by Cam Miller. On the Western Illinois 40-yard line. Miller with one back to either side. Hand off. Dom Ganella finds a gap. 40, 45, 30 down on that left side. And he's finally brought down. Joe Stuffel in here now. Lines up on that left side. Here's Miller. Handoff goes over to DJ Hart. 30, 25, 20 with a little bit of room. Finally spun around. Avoided a sandwich tackle. 10 yards for the first down Number inside nine, the Case IH Hart red zone here, yeah. at the 19. Here's three backs in the eye behind Cam Miller. One receiver to either side. Miller will hand off to the back of the eye. It's Lipke finds daylight. Ten, five, cutting the edge. Touchdown! Oh, mama, what a play! And the Bison are in for the third rushing touchdown of the afternoon. Under center. Tamaric Williams is back there. The handoff to Williams finds a gap. Ten, down to the five. Still trying to chug along, and he's finally brought down around the four-yard line. In the gun around the 10-yard line is Miller. High snap, handoff Williams, trying to go through, powering his way. Second effort, yeah. touchdown. He's in. Boy, we've seen it here from T-Mac. The big truck finding pay dirt. And the Bison extend their lead. 
Let's take a look at first half stats presented by Nodak Insurance. Bison led 28 to 10 in that first half. Coach, just uh, what were you feeling? The flow? We know everything was moving really fast in that first half. Got off to that fast start that we talked about. We did. We did. We we uh, we played well. Uh, a little frustrated with the touchdown right before halftime. Um, you know, it's just some things that we could clean up. Uh, probably did not play. Uh, great on some third downs and some second and longs that I thought we just weren't very efficient defensively. But overall, um, you know, when you don't have to punt, you, you, you score four touchdowns. Um, that's a good start to the game. And I was really excited about how, how we just started the game. Um, you know, we had 21 points really quick in the game and was excited about it. When you get off to that, I mean, does that take pressure off any other areas of the game when you get up early that way? I don't know if it necessarily takes any pressure off. Um, it, it might allow you to settle into, hey, we're going to run the football. We're going to keep this clock moving. we got to play really good on defense to continue to get off the field. But I, I think our kids are driven enough and, and um, motivated enough that they want to continue to finish and play well. And, uh, and a lot of the young guys who got in today wanted to play well as well. We'll take a look at second half highlights presented by Gate City Bank right after this. Teamwork, talent, dedication, leadership. These values that win championships on the field also build community, improve lives, a difference every single day for you for our neighbors for our community for a better way of life Gate City Bank is on and it's about to get loud powerful and playful delicate and precise bold and carefree it's the way you move and it moves us to deliver care for your whole family to provide options beyond the expected to help you leave pain in the past and find your way forward Orthopedics and Sports Medicine at Sanford Health. Bison Nation, this is head football coach Matt Entz. With all that goes into leading the Bison to victory, the last thing I want to worry about is the clothing I need to look and feel my best. I shop at Halberstadt's West Acres because I trust that they provide me with everything I need for meetings at the office, press conferences, and casual Bison attire. With plenty of options for sport coats, shirts, denim, suits, shoes, and accessories, I'm confident that when I need anything and everything menswear, Halberstadt's West Acres has me covered. Welcome back to the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz. I'm Rob Pipp. Again, the 56-17 to 17 victory today here in Macomb. Uh, Coach, I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about, as we go back and just look at the second half in the, in the overall of the game, Marquis Siegel, pick six. That was the first interception for a touchdown since 2018. i got to be happy for those guys getting a little bit of action there in the secondary. 
Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, it was, a, it was a third down, if I remember right. I think we were in kind of a um, – we were trying to show some pressure, get him into throwing, um, you know, a route that he had thrown earlier in the day and threw it right to Marquise. And so big play, great job by our players getting in front of him, uh, convoy down that visitor – or that home sideline. Um, but it's always fun to see our defense be able to uh, turn a pick into points. One of the great things when you get up early, you can bring in a lot of young guys. Yep. Kelton McCaslin getting some play as a true freshman. Do you mind talking a little bit about his – play today yeah well he only played about three four snaps uh i'm probably got to go back and watch some film but i think just getting live reps in a game uh the next time he's he gets that opportunity he'll be just that much better um it'll motivate him in practice meetings all those things i think it has a uh, it'll have a real direct uh, impact on his development as he goes forward throughout the rest of the year. Some more of these young guys, four force interceptions there, bringing it. And we're talking about Anthony Coleman. He yep. was able to get in there too as well. So again, I just keep going back, but these young guys getting that valuable right. playing time. Yeah, Anthony's Anthony's probably not really necessarily a, a, a young guy. He's going to graduate here in May, but uh, it was his first career interception. Mm -hmm. And Anthony has battled uh, broken ankle. ACL while he's been here and for him to have be able to go up in high point against a really good wide receiver and, and bring that interception down you saw on the sideline the energy of our football team and how excited they were for a guy like AC to, to have that pick and um, our team knows the the things he's had to go through injury wise um, and are excited that he can make a play here and and and, and have a really has been really good for us here in the senior year. Just one final discussion, 4-4 four four in the red zone. I know that's an area you always yep. say, hey, if we get down there, we got to score. He did it 100% today, Coach. Yep. Uh, you know, Coach Roll and our offensive staff do a great job putting together a plan, and uh, our players do a great job of executing it. And when we get down there, we need to score touchdowns. Uh, field goals are great, but we'd, we'd prefer to score the touchdowns. Let's take a look at second-half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. Got to get the ball off here. Time running down. Finally does. Pressure coming. Throw. It's intercepted. And this one could be returned to the house by Marquis Siegel. As he's down across the 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! It's an interception return for a touchdown by Marquis Siegel. 47. Moving from left to right. Here's a handoff to Merrick Williams. Across the 40, down to the 35. Boy, he continues to run. Almost 20 yards on that carry on the left hash mark. In Western Territory, Miller under center, one receiver to either side on the left hash mark, handoff Johnson, left side 20, 15, 10, as he spins around in a 10-yard gain for a first down on the left side, move the chains of Miller under center, eye formation, rolls back to the right side, throws, no, he's going to keep it here, down to the two, lunges in, touchdown, Cam Miller! Number seven, Cam Miller on the keep. His pressure coming here. And six, handoff goes over to that right side, finding room 50 and spinning around here TK. as TK Marshall into the ball game. DJ Hart, part of two receivers up top to the left. Peyton under center eye formation. As he'll fake the handoff, rolls over to the left side, passes. This one is bobbled up and caught by Joe Stuffel at the 35-30. Joe with room to run, still on his feet, down to the 15-yard line. Fly Cole Peyton. In the gun, one back to either side, two receivers up top to the left, the ball on the right, hash mark, handoff here, T.K. Marshall finding a gap, 20 to the left side, 25, still on his feet, T.K. Marshall down to the five-yard line, still spinning around, did he get in the end zone? He was stopped at the one-yard line. Peyton in the, under center, handoff here, T.K. Marshall leaps over, touchdown. He kind of climbed the ladder, got inside, and a one-yard touchdown to skedaddle for T.K. Marshall. Two backs behind him in eye formation. One receiver up top to the right. This handoff goes into the backfield to TK Marshall. TK is okay across the 50. He's on his way. 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, TK Marshall. 28, TK Marshall, the ball 65 yards to the house for TK Marshall. 33 yard line. Sunshine again in the face here on Bruno. Fakes the handoff. Steps back about six yards, punt fakes, throws over left side. This one up, caught, intercepted around the seven-yard line. For the Leathernecks, Bruno, the 20, steps back, throws. This one intercepted by the Bison at the five on the far side, down to the 10, 20, still on his feet. Flags fly 30, back to the 40, and out of bounds on that far side. Bruno's pass intercepted by number 43. Let's take a look at final stats presented by Nodak Insurance. Coach, I uh, mentioned earlier, kind of when we opened up, 453 yards on the ground, just a dominant rushing performance. Just wanted to give you a chance to circle back into that today with, with your guys with those touchdowns. Well, we knew coming into it, we, we had followed the weather all week long. We knew that Mother Nature might um, 
have something to say about the game plan and or or game or play selection, uh, probably a better way to put it. Uh, you know, we, we got the wind early. We threw the ball a couple times. Uh, I thought we did a good job using some play action, some nakeds, getting the quarterback out of the pocket. You know, but once we had to go into the wind, I mean, it was 25, 35 miles an hour. We were going to lean on our rams, our tight ends, our backs, and, and just try to run the football. And once we got up, probably, you know, middle of the, the third quarter, we went into that four-minute mode and uh, tried just to continue to keep the chains moving and, and chew up yardage. It's talking about chains moving 21 first downs in this ball game. A lot of those coming in that second half as well. You yep. look at the stats. I mean, it is what it is. But the first half, there were so many big explosive plays. Right. Right. Yeah, we were, we were on the field quite a bit throughout the game defensively. When you look at the score, uh, and part of it was the nature of just how we scored. You know, some big explosive plays, some long runs, pick six. Um, defense was right back out there. But you know, ov overall, uh, really excited about where we're at and, and really looking forward to moving on to the next one. Let's hear now from our NODAC insurance player of the game, Tameric Williams. Get excited to see to see Kobe or any other running back that's, that's getting touches to score, man. That's one thing that I enjoy about about playing here. Um, just seeing my teammates have success, man. That's one of the biggest things that that I enjoy about playing college football in general. But yeah, when I see when I see Kobe have success, I know I'm gonna have success, man. It just the the whole offense, the energy, everything just it feels different being out there. Coach, to Merrick Williams, a great opportunity for him to get out and have some yep. good play today. Just talk about how he continues to battle. It's a good game for him today. Well, big physical back. Um, has a ton of experience going back to his days at SMU. And for him to have this type of success his senior year is is, is, is promising. Um, he comes to work every day, great in protection. Um, and, and he can get downhill. And he's got, I think, much faster than probably most people think. And get him out in the open, he can break tackles and, and finish runs. Talked a lot about, you know, last year battling the injury early, finished up with over 700 yards yeah. and looking good here. We need him to peak. And it, as the season goes on, still a lot of playing left. Yeah, there is. And he's probably getting close to some similar numbers right now. And I'm excited about that. And he, he's healthy. Uh, he did. He kind of had a battle, a little bit of an injury bug late in 21, early in 22. And uh, to have him healthy along with the rest of our backs is exciting. When we come back, we'll be Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. I live for adventure. Whether it's playing professional football or the solitude of being in the great outdoors. Through all my adventures, one thing I do know, life is unpredictable and full of change. Thankfully, some things remain the same. Important things like service, quality, expertise, and trust. From my childhood to today, Shields has my trust because it has been right there with me for all my adventures. Shields, right there with you. Welcome back to the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz. In this week's Olaf Anderson feature, WDAY's Dom Izzo talks with wide receiver Eli Green. It was a relief because I know uh, they were bringing a lot of pressures and stuff, so it would be tough for uh, you know Cam to have a lot of time back there. So it's definitely a relief. And uh, you know, repping it so many times felt, felt amazing to actually do it in front of Bison Nation. And the biggest thing, obviously, for wide receiver is catch it. So just the, uh, to get that out of the way, I, how many times you've – gone through practice just was it relief like a gorilla off your <laughs> yes 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 um, I mean fall camp getting here I know I'd have to put a lot of work in to see the field so 
going through two fall camps now in a spring ball. You know, we, we rep every day so many times, so to get, get the first one in the dome, it was it was absolutely a relief, and it felt amazing. Kept hearing your name and watching you during the spring. Everyone said, boy, he's, Eli's having a really, really good spring. Tell me about that and how much more comfortable you felt through spring to get ready for fall camp. Um, I feel, you know, spring was pretty early for me, so um, just learning a lot from the older guys. You know, Christian still being here at the time and Zach Mathis and Phoenix, all the leaders. Um, you know, I learned a lot from them, and they did a really good job. Uh, teaching me so I just took everything that they taught me day by day and just tried to get a little bit better at the little things every single day and, uh, coach I just wanted to we just heard about Eli Green just wanted to talk to you about him red shirt freshman yep. this season uh, just how is he starting to mold into this program well I think it, it just like all young players it's repetition 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 it takes time to fully understand what it takes to be a bison but also the, the offense. Uh, there's a lot of verbiage, a lot of terminology that needs to be learned, uh, how to practice, and he's just, he's only scratching the surface right now. Uh, has a huge ceiling. Very excited about him playing that inside receiver position, and he continues to make plays for us and doing a really nice job. He set out as a red shirt last season. Just what did he learn? Well, I think. Um, as a, as a true redshirt freshman, I think our guys learn how to practice. They learn the demands. They learn, I think they get a good idea what it takes to be a Bison, to be a successful Bison, from the time in the weight room with Coach Kramer, on the practice field with our staff, uh, the expectation and standards that we have in, in the classroom. Um, and Eli's done a great job. Needs to continue to develop, like I said, a long ways from where, he's, where he can be, uh, but excited about you know how he's developed so far. It's another young guy here developing with this program, excited about his future. This week's Great Clip, Great Question of the Game, brought to you by Great Clips, is from Brad and Bowman. Uh, Coach, he wants to know, what do you think is the most underrated position? Oh, probably the offensive line. Um, and I know at NDSU it's probably one of the most celebrated, but if just – the stereotype of it throughout college football, probably one of the least appreciated positions. I think what we do offensively uh, really leans on the offensive line. Their success is our success as a football team. That's both offensively and defensively. We'll wrap it up. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. This is Jack. Jack loves sports. And since he banks at Gate City Bank, he can show his spirit right on his debit card. Even better, Gate City Bank will donate $10 to his favorite local school. And when Jack's friends cheer on their favorite teams, those schools receive $10 too. Plus, Jack and his friends score every day with free ATMs worldwide. Now that's always a win. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. For decades, NODAC Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. NODAC Insurance Company, agents with answers. Burgers, better with Pepsi. 
Welcome back to the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz. I'm Rob Pip. Coach, looking ahead to Southern Illinois. Yep. Good, big matchup coming up. Looking forward. Just two games remaining on this regular season schedule now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Southern Illinois, very well coached football team. Uh, Coach Hill does an outstanding job. They got a dynamic quarterback, Nick Baker. Uh, you know, really good football player, um, and you know, going on the road again always presents some tr some uh, some issues or, and some and some challenges. But uh, uh, we'll enjoy this one right now, and then uh, uh, come Monday, we're going to get this thing cranked up and got to be prepared for the next one. Southern was going to be coming off of a bye week, uh, losing their last two, five and four overall, four and two in the Valley. Just a little bit of the strengths that your team has heading into this matchup. Well, you know, I, I love at this point right now, you know, we have a couple more games under our belt since our bye week, and we're kind of got into a groove. Um, but you know, they'll be well prepared. Uh, they're using this time to get healthy, uh, break some tendencies, get, a, I'm sure, a jump start on game planning for the Bison. So we're going to have to have a really good week and, 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 and combat that with, with, attending to the details. Well, Coach, as always, appreciate your time. Looking forward to next Saturday. Going to be a fun one. Thank you. This will wrap up the Bison football show with Coach Matt Entz. And as always, remember, Bison Nation, horns up and go Bison. Today's Bison football show with Coach Matt Entz has been presented by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield. Eight teams, one dream. Watch the 2022 Dakota Bowl, presented by Farmers Union Insurance, Friday, November 11th. WDAY Sports brings you over 12 hours of North Dakota High School Football Championships. Starting at 9 a.m., catch every game, including the Division 9B, 11B, 11A, and 11AA Championships on this station or streaming on Inforum.com. The 2022 Dakota Bowl, presented by Farmers Union Insurance, Friday, November 11th. Connie and Gary Seacrest making the trip. Connie's got something she wants to say. I can say it. How do we look in person? I mean, pretty good. <laughs> Next live, Laverne Cox and Sarah Gilbert from the Connors. Brother, would you like us to pitch you an hour in daytime? What's going on over no, there? No, I'm, 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 I'll zip it. <laughs> Plus, we're kicking off virtual road trip week. First stop.